All right, so let's get right into the word today. It says this, do things to God's glory. Do things to God's glory. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 31 says the following, Therefore, whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, all, do it all to the glory of God. Do it all to the glory of God. Now, what does that mean? How can I just do things to the glory of God? It means that I need to be an example of what a Christian should be. So in other words, if you are with somebody who has an issue with pork and you don't have an issue eating pork, then be careful, don't have pork. Alright, if you were somebody who has an issue with a particular um, food thing or drink thing, whatever you do, be sensitive so that you can give God the glory in everything that you do. Wherever you go, whatever you do, have the attitude in the heart of saying, God, I want to give you glory in my actions. I'm considering myself as a Christian and I'm considering how others will see my actions in this thing. As we are consistent, as we do what God has called us to do, we are going to see the power of God move. We are going to see the glory of God come about in our nation. And we are going to see miracles take place in Jesus' name. But the issue is this. The world need examples. They need to have a standard. They need to look up to something. And guess what? Ladies and gentlemen, it is us. We are the example. We are the standard. We are what the world looks at and measures in Jesus' name. And so this morning when we come around the table, let us ask God to help us. Wherever we go, whatever we do, let us do it as to the glory of the Lord so that there is a blessing that comes on that, that people can see the power of God wherever we go and whatever we do. Be sensitive in everything that we do. And so all we need to do is this, to say, God, wherever I go, I thank you that I can demonstrate your glory, that I could be an example of what you want as a Christian. All right? And it's very simple. It's very simple. God, am I doing this? Whatever I do right now, would it be something that you would be proud of? Would it be something that you would approve of? Would it be something that I can be honestly uh, proud of in my own life to say, listen, I've done something correctly. The question is this, are we doing things to God's glory? Are we doing it that we can testify and exalt the Lord Jesus Christ in everything that we do? Now, only you can answer that. Only you can honestly say, I'm doing this with this motive. And yes, God will be pleased. God will be proud. In Jesus' name. Amen. So as we come around the table, let us ask God to help us. Everything that we do, let us be an example in everything that we do in Jesus' name. All right. So on the night that Jesus betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup. He said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. And so saints, as we stand and we stand solid in the things of God, we will see God do something supernatural for each one of us. But let us ask God to help us to be that example. Let us ask God to help us that wherever we go, we will be an example to the Lord Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. And that God will help us to show us when we need to change our actions or be sensitive to somebody else's needs. So let's pray. Lord, we come before you this morning. We thank you, Lord, that you love us. Lord, we thank you that you care for us so deeply. And Lord, I ask you please to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, any wrong action, any wrong motive, any wrong intention. I ask you please to forgive us and to wash us white as snow. Lord, I thank you that in the mighty name of Jesus, that we will move by your Spirit. Lord, that we will be obedient. And Lord, that we will be an example in everything that we do. Holy Spirit, please help us that our actions will be an example of what Christians should be in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for your blessing and anointing and power that flows in and through us. Lord, I thank you that we will never be the same again. And Lord, that we will do what you have called us to do in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, 
Amen and amen. Let's partake together. Amen. <clears throat> Lord, I ask you right now in the name of Jesus that the dunamis power of God flow through our bodies. I command every single symptom of sickness to leave us in Jesus' name. Father, I pray right now that in the mighty name of Jesus, that the anointing of God will saturate me from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. And Lord, I thank you that I am healed right now in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you, Lord, for a supernatural demonstration of your power. And Lord, that by your stripes I was healed. And I thank you, Lord, that no devil in hell will have any recourse in my life. In Jesus' mighty name, I thank you, Lord, that I am healed. And every symptom is gone. I thank you, God, that I walk in divine health and divine healing in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I want to bless you this morning. I want to encourage you. I want you to know God is in control. Now, we have a very, very important mission ahead. All right, and I am aware that a lot of people are back at work and they're all over the place and they're not getting to watch every single one of the communion sessions anymore. And so it's even more imperative that we spread the word and get the word out there as hard and fast as possible for what I'm about to announce. Okay, so please, I'm going to ask you, get ready for this because um, either today or tomorrow, I'm going to call on a national prayer and fasting until the 24th of August. Now, the 24th of August is where everybody's trying their best. There's so much political upheaval in our nation that many factions are trying to bring our nation to a standstill. Now, they've decided that the 24th is the month or the date that they are going to use to bring our nation into a proper solid shutdown. Not a lockdown, a shutdown. All right, and I will deal with it properly on a separate video. But this is what we're going to need. When I release that video, we are going to block 15-minute slots. We will set up a, a schedule up until the 24th. You block only 15-minute slots, and we start praying over this nation in Jesus' name. This is what we have been talking about. We've been trying to prepare you, train us, equip us, so that we can pray and keep the atmosphere open. Now we are going to call for a national prayer thing where we can stand together and we can pray. And we are going to trust God that the 24th is not going to happen. This will be a test on the church of Jesus Christ. Remember this, this is a spiritual battle. All right. And so I want to tell you right now, we are going to call for a 24 hour prayer meeting that is going to run. And you can pray in your house. It's only 15 minutes. If you pray in the Spirit, I suggest you just pray in the Spirit, focusing on our nation. And so I'm going to keep on pushing this up until the 24th. And so please get ready when we release the video. I'm going to need every individual, every individual to share it and get the word out there. Because we are going to need all the spiritual support that we can. This is very critical. It is very important. And we need to get this thing in order in Jesus' name. Amen. So as soon as we are ready, we're just setting up the system behind. And we are going to release this on every platform that we have. And I'm going to ask every church member to get it to their pastors. Get this video out there so that we can call the nation to pray. Because we are going to fight for our nation in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm going to ask you please to do this and get ready for this. Because we need to stand together. Amen. Right. I want to remind you that on, on uh, Friday, okay, I'm going to be in Bloemfontein. Friday is the activation, impartation. Saturday is the social. So please book your spot on fathersart.co.za. And I want to remind you that you can book for the youth camp and you can book for the, um, for the fire conference, which is a massive event. Okay, it's going to be in Pretoria. So please just go into fathersart.co.za and a pop-up will come up. And then you'll be able to see what you can uh, register for and get ready. All right. But I love to see you in Bloemfontein. I love getting to God's people. Okay. So right now, 
I want us to take note of something else. And that is this. Okay, on Fridays, I was going to start a session on kings and priests and businesses, but God has told me to shift it. All right, not this Friday, from next Friday night, I'm going to, Janine and myself are putting together a strategy and a practical work thing on how to fight for our nation. All right, so we're going to start a series calling Fighting for the Nation. And we are going to go step by step and we are going to equip you. We are going to train you. We are going to show you how to handle the spiritual warfare that every individual needs to do. All right, so I want you to get ready for that. From next week, we are going to take on the demonic things in our nation and we are going to get this thing done. I want to make a statement and I want you to listen. At this point, the demonic ancestral focus is the highest it's ever been in our nation. The political parties are literally going from province to province and calling for ancestral worship and all sorts of things. I want to say to you, this is a spiritual battle. It is not a natural battle. But we are going to have to get ourselves in. And we are going to have to stand strong. And we are going to have to equip ourselves. And we are going to have to know how to fight for our nation in Jesus' name. And so we are going to help with that. But right now, we have got to pray and fast for our nation. So that the 24th does not grip this nation. It will have serious implications if they get this right. But we are not in Jesus' name going to permit it. We are not going to allow it. And we are going to make sure that this is not going to happen in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So I want you please to get ready for this. So let's pray. And I want to just pray right now. I want to pray for the farmers in Belfast. I see that there's some guys burning some of the farms there. We're going to pray against that right now in Jesus' name. So let's pray. Lord, right now we lift up Belfast and the area of Belfast and the farmers. Lord, I come against um, these arsonists in Jesus' name. Lord, I release the power of God over that area in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for peace and blessing in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you that you are going to do something supernatural. Lord, in our nation and in our lives in Jesus' name. And Lord, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, we release the power of God, the blessing of God over our nation. We release peace. I come against every demonic spirit of anarchy and uh, lawlessness. I bind it in the name of Jesus. Lord, we restrict every demonic force that is trying to grip our nation. Lord, we release the anointing of God. We release the power of God. We release the ability of God to flow. We thank you, God, that angels are operating on our behalf. Lord, right now, we come and release peace over our business sector. Father, I pray for a supernatural move of your spirit over the business sector. Lord, that businesses will be blessed. And Lord, supernatural deals, supernatural contracts, supernatural uh, connections come forth in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you that as we restrict the evil ones and we build our altars, Lord, I thank you that our businesses are supernaturally blessed. And Lord, that the power of God is seen through them in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you for the anointing. We thank you for the power of God. And Lord, I thank you that we will see a shift and a move right across our nation in Jesus' name. And everybody said... Amen and amen. Amen, folks. I want to remind you that it's Wednesday. And so tonight is our digital Zoom session. So please get ready. 7 o'clock. Come and join us. It's going to be an awesome time in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right. Let's get to our declaration. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, Increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, I want to bless you this morning. I want to encourage you and say, go out with might, go out with valor and see the power of God in everything that you do in Jesus mighty name. Amen and amen. All right. 
So I'll see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Love you a lot. See you soon. Amen.